Welcome folks, uh, today I'm just going to go do a short introduction uh, that will uh, lead into a hyperlapse, time lapse of a few pieces that I'm working on and what I want to focus on is a very simple process I use which uh, you know I call it uh, blending, vignetting and burnishing of my usage of color and shapes and how my color and shapes interact and what I'm doing with the edges uh, to create the effect that you see. And it's not something I've really talked about. I, I talk about a lot of pieces and parts of my work. You know how I use color, how I originate my abstract shapes. But this is more into the technical nuts and bolts how I work in those of you, of you that are familiar with my uh, videos kind of know that everything I do is unorthodox and not really a uh, systematic uh, pattern like you're in an art class and that's th that's how I think it really gives me the advantage to, to create very unique and original abstract works but today uh, we're going to take a walk through um, the abstract garden, so to speak, and uh, you folks that have a uh, uh, penchant for green thumb, right there, the green thumb, uh, are going to like this. Uh, so here we go, and hope you enjoy this video. Well, I've been working on a series of uh, what you would call abstract realism of uh, florals and uh, these are flowers or florals that are in a vase they've been highly abstracted as you can see but I'm applying pretty excessively vignetting of my colors across each other in various layers you know the hot colors the cool colors above and below each other I'm blending them I'm vignetting them, and once I've accomplished that, I burnish with basically what you see here is my thumb. Of course, you could use anything to burnish these colors, and the medium I'm working with is uh, oil pastels, oil bars, uh, china markers, which have a waxy grease base to it. Those china markers are giving me the uh, black lines black layers the darker layers that you see and that burnish creates a nice sheen that you could cut into uh, scrape away and uh, I do this is a hyperlapse but I do work pretty quickly but not this quickly and I tend to stay in those cool pastels warm pastels and uh, I'm orchestrating what I find is a um, very gentle, pleasing uh, abstraction of flowers. And it could be leafy plants, but you can see how I combine my pure abstract sensibilities towards something from realism in real life and, and start to begin its distortion and giving it different symbolic uh, significance in shape and form. Uh, basically, I think this would excite most artists that work in these mediums. I'm sure you can do this in oil paint as well. You can do this in acrylic paint. And also, I should have mentioned that the very, very base layer of these, I, I do have some beginning gestural marks that I did in acrylic paint. And I use the acrylic paint somewhat like a wash, like a watercolor wash. And then in some areas, I use the acrylic paint a little stronger. And once that gets pretty much bone dry, I can work on top of it with these um, oil-based markers. And that's the proper way to layer acrylic and oil-based medium if you're working with that. You don't want to start your base layer with a oil component or a waxy component because the acrylic paint 
won't set up and uh, form a solid uh, uh, bond. And here you see I took off the hyperlapse and uh, I'm showing you this in real time. So in real time you just see the uh, beautiful texture you get. And I'm working on a very textured paper. It's a uh, Arches. It's a French paper. You also see me working on Fabriano, an Italian paper. So I love those uh, French and Italian paper makers. There's nobody like them. Uh, British make a pretty good paper too. But not, I just love the feel of this up close from a distance. And I have more of these floral abstracts, which I will show you, uh, I hope, in the next few weeks. Have a good night and uh, come back soon.